moving on to the second configuration of dynamic ram that is 3t sorry 1t dynamic ram so as the name implies it has got only one transistor so if you do the comparison between 3t dram and 1t dram so in 3t dram we has got three transistor whereas in 1t we have got only one transistor regarding the word lines in 3t dram we have got two word lines he but here only one word line regarding case of bit line in 3t dram we have got two word lines bl1 and bl2 whereas here only one word line is there and similar to uh, the 3t dram here also we have the capacitive storage so the capacitor is denoted as cs and one thing to be noted here one more capacitor is there which is represented as cbl which actually represents the precharge capacitor okay so it helps in the precharging action of this bit line that is the purpose of cbl so moving on to the first operation that is the write operation in dynamic ram that is the write op uh, so in write operation what we need to do is that we need to place the uh, data to be written on the bit line okay suppose we want to write 1 we need to put vdd on this or we need to precharge this bit line to vdd so that is with the help of capacitor cbl we will precharge this bit line bl to vdd now next step is enable the word line as a word line is enabled m1 gets turned on and the capacitor starts now the capacitor this point will be connected to the bl so the capacitor will starts to charge to which value vdd so it tries to charge the maximum value vdd but there exists a small uh, or diode drop across this m1 so that is actually represented as vtn so the maximum voltage to which this capacitor will get stored is will be vdd minus vtn okay so as uh, now suppose we want to write zero what ha what we need to do is that we need to connect b at bit line to ground or zero so using this capacitor precharge capacitor we will precharge bit line to zero so and as word line is enabled this capacitor will be connected to the line and whatever be the value of capacitor voltage previously stored here will be discharged to bl and now the capacitor value becomes zero so that is how the right operation in 1t dram happens so as word line is enabled m1 gets turned on and the capacitor starts to charge or discharge depending upon the value of bit line if bl equal to 1 then capacitor charge to 1 and the stored value will be 1 if bl equal to 0 then a the capacitor on discharges the right to 0 and the value stored is equal to first step zero. place the data to be so written on bl bit line after placing the data next step is enable the word line as we enable the word line the transistor m1 will get turned on so if you want to if you pl have placed bl equal to 1 then the capacitor will start to charge to which value vdd minus vtn or capacitor starts to value 1 so the value stored will get stored will be equal to 1 if bl equal to 0 then the capacitor discharges to 0 and hence the value stored will be equal to 0 so sim so this write operation is very simple similarly we can let's see the read operation also 